Tens of thousands of home health care workers could lose their jobs tomorrow if they do not get at least partially vaccinated by the end of today. CBS 2's Jessica Moore reports on this potential hardship for families and a push for more time to comply. Stroke survivor Cindy Yip relies on her home health aid 12 hours a day, seven days a week. She's a high fall risk and she has memory issues. Yip's son Kai says the new vaccine mandate and impending worker shortage has him stressed beyond belief. He doesn't show up. Who's going to fill in that gap? That means I have to rush over and, and, and drop everything. As of today, New York's roughly 250,000 home health care workers are required to have at least one dose of the vaccine or lose their jobs. Tens of thousands have yet to comply, leaving a looming shortage in a chronically understaffed industry. It's going to be a disaster is what's going to happen because people will call out, you know, even if the agencies are cobbling together for now to cover their current staff members, you know, their current cases. Union Chief Joe Bacora, who represents 32,000 home health care workers in and around New York City, is sounding the alarm, saying even with an 85% vaccination rate among his members, tomorrow is going to be ugly. What kind of fallout are you anticipating? We anticipate thousands of New Yorkers will, will be without their aids. Uh, due to, you know, people being unvaccinated. Pecora says many aides didn't know about the mandate until recently, and with an annual turnover rate of roughly 20%, thousands of workers who got vaccinated last year don't even work in the field anymore. It's how hard the work is and the compensation that they receive uh, from the state. The people are just leaving, you know, to go to other industries, retail, uh, any commercial, fast food. We need better compensation. And we need more time to meet this mandate. And we're not asking for another year. We're asking until the end of the month. For now, Governor Hochul is standing by today's deadline, saying her goal is protecting the most vulnerable New Yorkers from COVID-19. Jessica Moore, CBS2 News. And this vaccine mandate comes on the heels of the mandate for state hospital employees and nursing home workers.